In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to preview and publish your course. So when you're in the Articulate tab and you're ready to preview a slide, and you'll notice that you have three options for previewing. You can preview the single slide, you can preview the next three slides, or you can preview the range of slides. Let's go ahead and preview this slide. And this opens up our preview window so I can preview the slide and see what it looks like. Now you'll notice right now we're in desktop mode so I get to see this player. If I switch to one of the mobile modes, you'll see up here I have a tablet and phone and then there's landscape and portrait options. When I switch to a mobile device, you can see that the player changes and we go to this responsive mobile player that's going to give you a better user experience. And you'll see the same thing on the phone. Now one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're publishing and you know you're working with mobile is that the mobile devices have different aspect ratios. So for example, this slide was published at 16.9 aspect ratio. Uh, this tablet though is a 4.3 aspect ratio so you can see the slide doesn't fit as well. It does fit really well on the smartphone in landscape but if I go to portrait, you can see that's not an optimal experience. Now how do we fix that? Super easy. You'll notice a little gear icon up here. What I want to do is set it so that the user doesn't view the course this way. They can only view it in landscape. So I'm going to click on the gear icon. And you'll notice I have my responsive playback feature. So I can allow playback in different modes. So in this case, for the tablet, I only want it in landscape. And for the phone, I only want it in landscape. And look at what happens. So now it tells me I have to rotate the device. So if I'm watching on my tablet, this works great. If I'm on my phone and I go to portrait, it's going to say, nope, I need to rotate the device. And when I rotate it, I'm going to get a really nice experience. So that's how you preview and you can set your mobile settings that way. And these are approximations because each mobile device is a little bit different. And then like always if you're publishing and you know you're publishing and you're going to have users on mobile devices, you want to test those on mobile devices to make sure the course is working the way you want it to and that you get the best user experience. Now let's look at our publishing options. So if you go to publish, this opens up this window here and you can see you can publish to Articulate 360. So it'll upload to Articulate 360 and then you can share your course or you can use review and have users uh, give you feedback. And you can see that you can publish as a new item or if you had an existing course and you want to publish over that you get a new version of that course. And then you can publish for web and that will give you a folder that you can upload and then create a URL and share your courses that way. If you're using Articulate Online you can publish to Articulate Online. If you're using a learning management system you would publish your folder and then you would upload that to your LMS. Uh, one of the things you'll need to determine is uh, what type of output options you want and then the reporting and tracking. And it's all pretty straightforward when you're working with that. If you have any questions, ask your LMS administrator because uh, there's always a process you have to go through to make sure that the courses connect with your learning management system. And then you can publish to CD and Word. Now uh, one of the main things you want to think about when you're publishing, you'll see that these properties, and they're going to be across the board the same. So if we look here, we'll notice that HTML5 with flash fallback is our default publishing. What that means is that the course is going to be viewed in HTML5 first. And then in older browsers that don't support HTML5, they'll fall back to flash. So they'll run the course in the flash player. Now you have a choice though. You can choose to publish only HTML5. That means you can't use any flash in there. Or you can publish all the way to Flash. So you have some options. HTML5 Flash is going to be the default, but you can choose what you want. And then you also have the option to publish for the Articulate Mobile Player as well. You can select your player. You have some customization options for quality. So you can see um, you can choose standard which is what I usually have and, and that seems to work fine for most cases. But you do have some options in terms of quality and audio and image size. Now generally speaking the lower the quality the smaller the file size and the higher the quality the larger the file size. If that's something that concerns you and you don't want to use just the standard or default settings, what I recommend is 
publish something at the lowest settings and then publish something at the highest settings and compare them and compare the file size and then run them over your network to see what your constraints are. In most cases the standard settings are fine and the network bandwidth is faster today than it was a few years ago so it's usually not a case but if you find that you're having some bandwidth issues uh, then you can play around with the quality settings and see if you can make the file size and the streaming a little bit better for your environment. Then after you've made all your decisions and settings, go ahead and hit publish and then you're going to get a published course. And you can see after you're published, you've got the opportunity to view your presentation and then you have some different options here. You can email it, FTP, uh, zip it up or you can open it up and look in the production folders. And that's pretty much it. So when you're working with Articulate Presenter 360, you build your courses, you can preview them, you can set your mobile settings, and then you can publish your course and upload it either to a website or to your learning management system or publish it up to Articulate 360 and use the review tool to get some feedback. If you have any questions, jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you. And don't forget to watch the other tutorials to learn more about the software.